Hey ladies, it's your girl Tania here with another video to help uplift, encourage, and empower you. So let's get right into today's video. So honey, we have a lot to talk about. Today's topic is going to be about boundaries and guy-girl relationships because somebody needs to talk about it. We need to address the elephant in the room as to why every single guy that you become friends with that you had no common interest in, including myself because I didn't did this, no common interest in, wasn't attracted to him whatsoever. The moment y'all become friends, a few weeks, a few months down the line, you calling up your sis and you like, girl, we need to talk. I think I like so-and-so. Why is this? Because either you broke all of these boundaries we're about to talk about today, or you broke a few of them and you did not guard your heart the way that it needed to be guarded, the way that God said, above all else, guard what boo your heart. So let's talk about that right now. Boundary number one that needs to be enforced. You need to be intentional, intentional, capital intent, and then a shouldn't and then oh uh, you need to be big girl intentional about the communication the conversations that's happening outside of y'all place where y'all normally meet up so let's just say y'all go to school together or you go to work together or whatever so you see him there and y'all chit chat or whatever there and then you like okay well let's just get each other numbers or whatever so now y'all chit chat and y'all see each other at work and now y'all see each other now y'all talking to each other and and on the phone and all of that you need to be intentional about these conversations that are being had why because if you are single if you're single check out my uh recent video i'm gonna try to post it somewhere here girl so you can check that out if you are single and this is the only guy that you are talking to and he is single and he is the only girl that you are talking to and all y'all do is talk to each other all day long boo you're gonna catch feelings come on we've seen this if you've seen enough movies then this is a, a ending that is clear as day as to what's gonna happen you're gonna start liking him he's gonna start liking you and then and what because in the beginning you didn't even like homeboy you didn't even think he was cute you didn't even you know you was like mm, you know <laughs> you know he's nice he's sweet or whatever but I'm not interested so why because you talk you were talking to him for too much you gave him too much of your time if y'all see each other at work then let that just be work okay if you really trying to keep it just friends with him then we'll just talk at work okay yeah you know we work buddies we're just gonna talk at work I'll see you at work you know we'll chit chat at work you don't need to go from work to home and then from home to the weekends and then the weekends we do it all over again and now this is guy is running through your mind 24 7 every single moment second of the day because he is all that you talk to girls that is x number one you need to be intentional about the conversations that you are having with this guy outside of your place of where you normally meet and also intentional about the conversations that you have in the place where y'all meet okay you know he's trying to do these little dirty funny jokes and you're just laughing he, 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 he. he's just trying to see what you're gonna allow because a guy is only going to do what you allow him to do he's gonna test the waters as many times as he can to see what you are going to allow him to do so if you allow the dirty jokes if you allow the cursing if you allow all this that and the third he is going to continue to do it and he's going to do it and he's going to add more layers to it so be intentional be cautious and intentional about the conversations that you two are having together if it makes you feel uncomfortable if you feel like it's crossing the line you need to be like whoa whoa buddy you know we going too far let's get back to work let's get back to work. oh 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 excuse me no we don't need to be talking about that you just my friend that's what you need to say speak up don't be scared to speak up or oh, that boy that that man that that guy that you're just trying to keep friends with is going to end up being your boo and you don't even want that because he's not even a vision that the lord showed you he don't even match the desires of your heart and the guy that you want and that's not mean because that means that he's somebody else's man he do he fits uh, another woman's description of a man that she would want a man that she finds attractive a man that she would want to pursue her so be very careful about the conversations and intentional cautious about the conversations that you are having with this guy if you are trying to keep it just friends boundary number two very important listen come on this is a quick video listen up ladies boundary number two do not lead this man on it is not nice to him it is not respectful to you 
do not lead this man on. If you know that you do not see him as anything more than a friend, let him know from the get go. If you see him trying to do something that he, you know, he trying to pursue, he trying to do this, trying to take you out on dates, he trying to buy you five, like let him know, hey, look, Jimmy, <laughs> you are a great guy. But let me tell you, all I see you as is a friend. You know, I think you are great, but I do not think that, you know, this is something that needs to be going on. Do not lead that man on just because you're bored and the man of your dreams is not pursuing you right now. So now you're trying to waste Jimmy time, letting him lead you on, letting him think that he has a, a opportunity, a prime time with a queen, a Proverbs 31 woman like you, and he does not. Do not lead this man on. That is not nice. It's not fair and it's not respectable to you. Because if you know this man isn't your husband, then why are you letting a man who isn't your husband pursue your time? No, you basically cheat on your husband and you just wasting his time don't do that do not lead this man on let him know what it is and what it isn't let him know from the get-go hey you just my friend jim that's it <laughs> you my bro jim that's it that's it jimmy nothing more okay let him know what it is i think this is tip number three not quite sure but tip number three ladies be very careful with the compliments be careful with the compliments. I'm talking about the compliments that you are giving him. I know naturally I'm just a person that likes to compliment. You know, I'm always complimenting the girls. Girls, your hair cute, your nails cute, your eyebrows. Girl, you did that, your outfit slay, your makeup did. I'm a big complimenter. So I tend to do this with guys like, oh my gosh, your haircut is so nice. Like, oh, I love that. You look so good in that color. But this, ladies, this also includes, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. You're the sweetest guy ever. How could you not have a girlfriend? All of that, yeah chill with that ladies this is a thing as cool and as nice and as sweet as that is a lot of guys never receive compliments so when a queen like you compliments him now it's running through his mind like oh bro you know tania man she gave me that compliment bro i just can't get over it like you tania complimented me what like it is ladies and that's just because you're a queen like you look good you know and you have all of these amazing amazing attribute uh attribute attribute attri oh i don't know can i say it attributes is that right okay attributes about you that just make you this bomb queen that you are and you compliment to him and now that's running through his mind 24 7 so be very careful with the compliments you know you don't got to be doing them every day you know you might throw them out here and there but be careful with them and let them know hey it's just a friend hey you know hey jim you look really nice in that you know you look really nice in that keep it that i'll be like oh you look real nice but you know you know shoe you know I, if i win da, 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 i might date you no don't be doing all that don't be leading him on don't don't do none of that. Be very careful with the compliments. Even though you have good intentions, be very careful with that. Tip number four, this is my last and final thing, and then we're going to get on up out of here. No dates. I said it. No dates. You like to call it hangouts. Oh, we're just hanging out. If it's you and him, girl, that's a date. Let's just call it what it is. Especially if he's paying. Because I only, you know, I'm really only friends with gentlemen. So, typically, if I go, if I'm friends with a guy, if I go out with him, he typically pays for it. Because, like, I only, you know, I'm only, I'm, I'm really big on the guys that I consider my friends. So, they all be like, you know, let me pay for it. I got you. You know, sometimes I be like, ooh, ooh. Be careful with that. Do not be going on you and him solo dolo. Let's get to know each other. Let's get vulnerable kind of dates between you and him. That is not okay. You have to be very intentional with these type of situations. If you want to hang out, if you all plan something and you want to hang out, then you need to also plan it with some of your homegirls, some of his homeboys, some of your, everybody. Everybody just can come together and hang out. But it should not be a situation where it's just you and him and they're so much room for temptation in that and not saying you can't fight against it or saying temptation is a sin because even Jesus was tempted it's what you do in those tempting situations that make it a sin but you need to be very careful in those moments especially when you know your convictions and the things that you're going through and the way you're feeling because you're single and you never experienced this after be very careful with that don't set yourself up to fail don't put yourself in a very tempting and risky situation you should not be going out with just you and him bring some friends bring some people drive yourself that is just your friend not your man stop acting like that's your man stop trying to put him in a place where that's your man and you want him to do the things for you as if he He's your man you're not interested 
stop doing it don't lead him on it's not fair to him and it's not respectful or fair to you either or for the man that you know in the future is going to be your husband so ladies that is all the tips i have for you today and i love y'all and you know i'm always here to give y'all a word i want this channel just to be something that's encouraging and empowering and uplifting so i'm gonna pray for y'all and we're gonna head out thank you lord jesus for these women thank you for the women that are what that are, thank you for the woman that comes across this video father i pray that you let these words take roots in her god let them take root god let them take root god let her be careful god with the guys that she lets pursue her careful guys god god with the guys that she lets in her inner circle god not every guy has good intentions but we know there are those guys who do god so attract those type of godly christian guy friendships her way god and let her be knowledgeable let her be understanding and let her be careful and above all else let her guard her heart to not let her heart be easily crushed by getting into something that she had no business being in and that is it amen i love you make sure that you like and subscribe and send this video to a friend send it to your homegirl send it to your aunt or whatever and make sure you turn your post notifications because i'm about to be posting the videos as the lord drops the ideas up in me so i love y'all bye